What is going on everyone? My name is Ryan Prendes, the Riley Crypto Guy, and I would like to welcome you back to the Master Podcast Mini Pods. In this episode, I go over what's in store for the crypto market in 2023, how big money is going to treat crypto, and what I believe every crypto investor should do over this next year. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at the Masternodes and someone on our team will be happy to answer them. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy this clip from our episode, Crypto 2022 versus Crypto 2023. I believe there's also going to be a lot of room for expansion, a lot of room for development, and a lot of room for general improvement with these companies. I can only hope for the best when it comes to these cryptocurrency exchanges, especially when they're centralized cryptocurrency exchanges. But at the end of the day, everyone has their own agenda. I don't believe we're going to see an end to these kinds of complications that we may have come across. However, I do believe it's going to leave a lot of people to be more cautious about where they store their crypto. Most importantly, how they store their cryptocurrency, you know, and and where exactly are they trusting their cryptocurrency to be staked, to earn interest and to be held? Because we've seen a lot of really shitty things these past couple of months, you know, with FTX, with Celsius, with just a lot of you know, these exchanges wrongdoings kind of coming to light being like, okay, well, this is happening. This is really kind of what's been going on behind the scenes. What can we do as retail investors, as retail traders to protect our cryptocurrency now? You know, not only that, we also saw a lot of things happen with micro strategy. Yes, MicroStrategy. MicroStrategy is down tremendous right now with cryptocurrency, but I don't believe it's going to fall apart like FTX. However, I do believe that we're kind of going to see a shift in how these companies themselves are investing into cryptocurrency. So not only from the retail traders and investors perspective, are we going to see change, but from the big money, the big players, we're also going to see change in them as well and not only that i feel like there's going to be a lot less risky investors out there at the beginning of the year and even in 2021 we saw a lot of shit coins kind of crash and burn there was a lot of rug pools a lot of people made a lot of money but a majority of people lost money and all these rug pools and all these shit coins so i think there's going to be a lot less risky investors out there because there's going to be so cautious about who they're investing their money with and where they're investing their money into, you know, what assets they're purchasing. That's the hope. But once the bull run comes into play, I think everyone has to be cautious about where they put their money and where their money is going because you get so caught up in emotions. You know, your friend made up and turned 1000 into 10000 by investing into Doge, Elon, baby coin or something like that. And so when the next bull run comes around, you guys really, really have to be cautious about where you guys are investing your money. Because if you guys aren't cautious about where your money is being invested, your 10000 can turn into zero just like that. I mean, you know, just this past year, we saw FTX's Sam Bankman Freed, you know, one of the pioneers or someone that they believed was going to be like the next Zuckerberg of cryptocurrency, lose billions, billions of dollars, just like that. 